If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a best class setup for one of the last unlocked, or not really the last unlocked, but one where you have to do a special way to unlock the MP40. This weapon is one of my favorites simply because the history of the MP40 in Call of Duty World War II, and this weapon is still a beast in this game, and I have a best class up for you guys today. I'm also going to talk about some tips and how to use this weapon. Hope you guys will enjoy today's video. If you guys could slap a like on this thing, 2,000 likes would be absolutely amazing. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. That would be awesome, and uh, let's get right into this. So, I've been loving Call of Duty World War 2 and this gun is the MP40. Now some people may be confused on how to unlock this gun. It's not that difficult. You only have to play for, you know, a couple of hours to be able to get this unlo gun unlocked. And the coolest thing about unlocking this gun is once it's unlocked, it's there permanently. You don't need to use unlock tokens on every prestige. You don't need to use a permanent unlock token. You don't need to use anything on it. You have it permanently. Now how this gun is unlocked, we'll talk about that first because it is, it's not really confusing, but if you don't know, then you don't know, I guess. So how you you do it is you have four division or five divisions in this game right so with your airborne division you have to hit the division level four and max out at level four which does take some time that level four grinding the xp on that does take a while but the first couple levels is very very easy and then you need to head into headquarters head over to the to the right uh you know the, down the right path to the guy that can prestige your divisions right before you can do the actual prestige place and uh, basically he will prestige your division which will reset your airborne to level one which is very very annoying because then you have to level it back up to get those extra perks on the airborne however then you will just have the mp40 permanently unlocked and that's what i recommend doing it basically that's how it works with every single division you can prestige them each a couple of times but the first time you prestige them is when you get that hidden weapon at, on the the end of each class you know so the hidden assault rifle will be for infantry smg for airborne etc etc and i recommend prestiging all of them one time you could do it multiple times if you want i think there's some variants you get some calling cards and stuff like that as bonuses if you keep going i've seen people prestige multiple times on those but um then i don't think it's really like I, I don't think it's worth it at all in my opinion because losing those couple of perks really does hurt you especially in a in a game where the division or the class setup you really need to have your infantry or not your infantry but your division level maxed out to be able to get those three perks from that or four from that plus your basic training and max out your class setup so that's how i recommend getting this weapon let's talk about this gun it is pretty deadly this gun it is one of the ones where like i say with uh uh, SMGs. Some of them I like to run a silencer on them, some of them I don't. This is one, and I think most of the SMGs are a lot stronger without the silencer, and that's what you'll see in this gameplay. I do pretty good. I don't attach the silencer pretty much at all. I think it's nice to have it there. You can experiment with both, and I think it's more of like a personal preference and a play style and a map choice. On a map like Point Du Hawk, you're running into enemies dead on. Face to face in the trenches or on the side of the maps, you're really not going to be flanking with the silencer unless you're playing a very, very sort of stealthy game mode or like game, uh, play style so I definitely on this map I think it's better to not have the silencer equip and just run around and slay people out with the mp40 but definitely the silencer is a good thing to have and by using the airborne class you have it you know it's an option there for you so for this gun of course I'm going to be running the airborne class I find that the airborne class works best for most smgs but you'll see I'm going through all the guns and doing class it up so are all the main popular guns so you'll see on some of them I might have infantry or armored because those ones are good as well but right Right now, Airborne is a very, very strong one, and especially when these maps are kind of big, and on a map like this, I like to be able to sprint around fast, and Airborne definitely helps you with that climbing obstacles faster, which is huge on a map like Point Du Hawk, because there's those little middle areas out right beside the trenches where you hop up on and get a vantage point over people, and being able to climb faster is very, very important, and that's why I like to run the Airborne. Of course, like I said, the silencer is sort of an option. Now, as far as attachments with this thing, with Airborne, you only get two attachments unless you're willing to run, to run Primed as your uh, basic training, which I'm not doing in this class setup. So for the two attachments right here, I personally am running with the Grip and the Extended Mags. This gun has a very fast fire rate, unlike the Grease gun and some of the other SMGs. This one does not need rapid fire. Your fire rate is already, it's not the fastest, it's not a WAF 28 or a Type 100, but it's a fairly fast fire rate, and I think you do not need to have rapid fire 
on this thing. It can be a nice bonus, but you definitely don't need it. And that's why I choose to run the extended mags. Now with extended mags, reload time on this gun is already fairly quick. But with that 48 bullets, you really don't have to worry about reloading. It's kind of new to me because normally in Call of Duties, I'm the guy that gets a kill and reloads instantly. With this gun, you really don't have to do it. If you watch my gameplay, usually each kill takes about 10 to 15 bullets, right? So after the first kill, you have around like 35 bullets or something like that. And uh, you can definitely get three kills out of each of the magazines without reloading. And you really don't have to. I mean, I have to break my habits with this gun and not worry about reloading. But I like having that. And it reminds me something about like the Weevil extended mags had like 70 bullets in black ops 3 and a fast reload time this one has 48 which is very very deadly with this fire rate as far as the second attachment i'm gonna run it's just going to be the grip to play it safe this smg actually has some range to it i've been picking people off of head glitches with this thing and without the rapid fire i find is a better class setup or at least right now because just with grip and extended mags the recoil is quite low and you can see this mp40 is probably one of the easiest smgs to tap fire at range you know tap 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 to reduce the recoil Recoil, or even just to hold it down and pull down a little bit on the recoil you can melt people with that and I definitely recommend these two attachments as far as my basic training the one that I like to run for this class setup is energetic now energetic is basically sort of like marathon I guess you know with the airborne you kind of get lightweight and a little bit of marathon but with energetic it allows you to reset your sprints faster and that's one thing that's very annoying about this game is that after you sprint there's a long delay before you can sprint again I kind of wish they just put in default unlimited sprint into this game because when it's a boots on the ground game you know it, it can be a bit more slower paced than a advanced movement game especially when the maps are a little bit on the bigger side i think with the maps in this game this one is a good size a lot of them are pretty decent size i love flag tower london docks it's a really good small maps but they do have those big maps as well and having energetic it just always helps to rush and to be able to get more kills and by, by you know running faster you're gonna run to more enemies be able to get more kills be able to level up faster it's just something that is very very convenient and on a class up like this where the mp40 is such a strong base gun you don't really need anything to help it you know put it on crutches i definitely recommend energetic it is absolutely awesome as far as a secondary on this one i'm just rocking with the machine pistol that's what i've been rocking with i think it's a very good thing with the machine pistol if you can get extended mags for that that would be awesome but just run uh, whatever attachments you guys have on that thing i just have quick draw for it right now and i've just been sticking with grenades it honestly depends on the map stun grenades in this game or the british n69 it's called which is essentially the concussion or the stun grenade is very very overpowered because what you can see about this game you can see their long range kills like they are really good with this gun um but basically under grenades lethal and tactical it will show your blast radius so your frag grenade will have a six meter blast radius your semtex a five and your stun grenades a 10 so stun grenades can be absolutely huge of course i've just been sticking with frags because not many people right now have the flak jacket class setups leveled up or complete at all so frag grenades are always overpowered at the start of every call of duty game uavs and frag grenades are always overpowered because people don't have ghost and flak jacket or whatever variant of that is in that game unlocked and i definitely think that rounds out this class up very well now when should you use this class up what's the difference between it and other ones is it the best at close range not the 100 percent best like a grease gun with rapid fire would be or a ppsh with rapid fire but the hip fire on this gun and i find in this game hip fire is kind of weak and aim assist is kind of weak up close the hip fire on the mp40 is actually quite nutty i find that this gun is a good smg that can also pick people off of head glitches because of its you know pretty low recoil and ability to tap fire with that iron sights and i find that like in this game head glitches are a lot of the time so having that is very very convenient and i find that this gun is the one that you want to use as sort of your more well-rounded that can do more damage at range smg class of course i'm using it on a map here which is close range and that is simply because of the, how strong the hip fire is that's why it works good on this map as well but honestly for this map the best class would probably be something that's a little more faster of a fire rate like a grease gun rapid fire or like a um, WAF 28 or something like that, which I did get the soggy variant for, and I'll make videos on that coming soon. But this gun definitely is one that can round out a good class setup. And honestly, some people, my friends were saying this gun wasn't that good. But as soon as I unlocked it, I got addicted with it. And I think this was my first gun to hit 500 kills like yesterday or two days ago or whatever. It was my first gun to hit 500 kills because I just kept finding myself just locking it in every game. When I, you know, would load into the game and pick a class up, you see there the power of the hip fire, I would just keep locking the MP40. 
yeah, I definitely think it is a very, very good gun, but it needs to be in the right hands, and I think that this class setup is the right one to run. If, the right, if you're in the right hands and you play this one right, hip firing and keeping people at medium, you know, a bit long, short range, it can do absolutely amazing things. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys could drop a like on this video, a new video will be coming out later tonight as well. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could smack some likes. This thing it would mean amazing to me. It would be amazing. 2,000 likes would be um, awesome. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Sub for cookie, cookie and don't looky. And I'm out. Peace.